So I was taking the long ride up north for another weekend up at the property. Um, and I heard a song on the radio that made me think, what would it be like to go through a box of cards with Lil John? What? Yeah! Let's get started. Kicking things off, we got some leather to lumber die cuts. These are pretty cool. Uh, it's like a stack of bats. It's uh, cut out to be that stack of bats. Um, that's one of the things that caught my attention in this particular box is we had some of these die cuts in this first row. Um, so that piqued my interest right away. Let's see what we got. We got Mitch Haniger, Willie Adames, and that was in his Tampa Bay days before he came to the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, we've got Trevor Story, Odubel Herrera, Andrew Benintendi, Eugenio Suarez, uh, Mitch Haniger, Joey Gallo, Mike Moustakis, Wilson Ramos, Nelson Cruz, another Wilson Ramos. Let's see here. Um, Matt Olson from his Oakland days. Harrison Bader, Michael Conforto, uh, Nick Castellanos, Trey Turner, Chris Davis, Crash Davis, if you will. J.D. Martinez, that looks like, yeah, that looks like Boston Red Sox days. Uh, Alex Bregman, Justin Smoke, uh, Adam Jones, Carlos Carrasco, a couple of those. Uh, John Lester, what year are these? These are 2019. Uh, oh, and then it looks like we switch from the bats to the gloves. Andrelton Simmons, one of those. A Charlie Blackman. Uh, Madison Bumgarner. Uh, Lorenzo Kane. And an Anthony Rendon. Um, with with uh, the Washington Nationals yet, before he went to the Angels. Yeah, 2019. I like those. Any die cuts a win, but those are especially nice. I like those. All right, let's get into some standard cards. Uh, we've got some Panini Legacy, a rookie card from Michael King. Uh, Sunny Gray Hollow, Don Russ 20. Adrian Morjan, rookie card Legacy. Uh, Max Muncy, Don Russ 20 uh, Hollow. Uh, Carlos Santana, down rest 20 hollow um, and those are the blues as well so that's nice uh, Nick Senzel uh, Jacob de Gram looks like Panini Limited Sandy Alcantara down rest 20 Willie Calhoun tops uh, inaugural season inaugural season for what you might ask and I'm asking the same thing um, let's see, this is 20, 2008, I think, let's take a closer look there, 2020, 2020 on this one, um, inaugural season for, I think, just the new ballpark, um, is that the Texas new bar ballpark at Arlington, maybe, interesting, uh, some Chronicles, Paul Goldschmidt, uh, classics, J.D. Martinez, Diamond Kings, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarbs has got a pretty good market. Uh, Chris Davis, Strata, I believe. Uh, Kevin Newman, rookie. Uh, Roselle Herrera, rookie. Haven't heard of him. Um, a Brady McConnell, first Bowman paper. Elvis Andrews, Stenros 20. Chris Sale. Paul Goldschmidt, all down rest 20, and Alex Bregman Chronicles. Uh, Tom 
Esselman, top space rookie. Uh, Devi Gruan, a score rookie. Lewis Thorpe, rookie. Uh, over to some football again. Uh, Panini Chronicles, Isaiah Hodgins, rookie card. And his Oregon State Beavers uni. Um, KJ Hamler, looks like absolute rookie card. Kenneth Murray, absolute rookie card. Golby Parkinson, uh, Panini Phoenix, uh, and that's a rookie card out of Stanford. Some Donruss 20, uh, looks like some legends here. Eddie Murray, Dwight Gooden, Dave Winfield, Wade Boggs, Jose Canseco, another Winfield, and another Canseco. Yeah, retro 1986 on these. I do like the retro cards. I think they can be good sellers at times. Then we switch back to football in this box. Chris Wormley, rookie card. Isaiah Coulter, rookie. Jake Luton, uh, rookie card. And we're an absolute here. AJ Terrell, rookie. Uh, Daryl Mooney rookie, Nate Stanley rookie, um, Jake Rudock rookie, Don Ross, Anthony McFarland Jr., Will Burger uh, rookie card, Kenneth Murray again rookie, Darrington Evans rookie, still in these absolutes, um, Derek Brown rookie card. Uh, we got a green foil here, I think. Dalton Keene, rookie card. Uh, this one's more of a blue or purple. Um, Clavon Chasson, rookie card. Got a couple of those. So different, um, different foils for the name there. Put those aside. So same card. Different colored foil for the name badge. One is blue, one is a standard silver. Cole McDonald, rookie, a green Dalton Keene again. Uh, Josh Uker, uh, Dalton Keene. Desmond Patman, Quintez Cephas, rookie card, former Badger. Uh, well, I might be wrong on that. I swear he was a he was a Badger. Did he transfer to Ohio, Ohio State at some point? I could have swore he was. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Cephas joined the Lions as a 2020 draft pick with a strong endorsement from number three overall pick Jeff Okudo, uh, Okuda, who said he's the best receiver I went against, the former Ohio State running back said of his new NFL teammate. So, yeah, Ohio State and Wisconsin would have matched up. So, he, he I, I was thinking of the right guy. He's a Wisconsin Badger. Raquan Davis, uh, Christian Fulton, Colin Johnson. These are all rookies from Absolute. Uh, Devin Asahi, Asahi, Paul McDonald, James Prochet, Clavon Chasson again. A Carl Joseph, Don Russ. James Prochet, Eno Benjamin, Juwan Jennings, Albert, oh boy, this is a challenge, Albert Okwugabunam, well, Michael Perrine, so um, this is not starting off great on this box, the, the first box we went through was pretty good, but this first row, um, not... Not starting off great. A lot of rookies um, that there's really no market for. Damon Arnett, Marlon Davidson, Jamichael Hasty, Desmond Patman, Isaiah Coulter, uh, Avon Bell, Don Ross, Jake Luton, Ross Blacklock, Yeter Cross Matos, LaVisca Chenault Jr. Um, so... Okay, got to one that has um, at least had some starts in the NFL with the Jaguars. What year is this? 2020. Um, yeah, so I do have 
So it's interesting. I have a uh, Chenault Auto that I don't think is sold yet. And I've had it uh, since the early days when I started selling about a year ago. Um, so, so far, that's the best rookie I've come across. And that's not saying much. Zach Moss, um, Jake Rudock, Don Ross, rookie. Antonio Gibson, okay, that's a little bit better, rookie card. J.K. Dobbins, rookie, okay, I do like that. I think as long as he comes back strong from his injury, he's got a bright future ahead of him. Steven Montez, K.J. Hamler, um, Thaddeus Moss, Thaddeus Moss, score rookie. Bryce Perkins, Chronicles. Cheyenne O'Grady Chronicles, uh, Cheyenne O'Grady uh, Phoenix, I always like the Phoenix, uh, Panini Limited Phenons, Sean McKeon out of the big house in Michigan, um, KJ Hill, uh, playoff kickoff, looks like some green foil on that. Uh, rookie wide receiver out of Ohio State. Isaiah Hodgins, XR. Uh, Donruss Elite, Cheyenne O'Grady, and might be a red parallel as well. Um, AJ Epinesa, Prestige. Uh, Bryce Perkins, XR. Isaiah Hodgins. Benjamin Victor, Bryce Perkins, rookie. Eno Benjamin, Rookies and Stars, a Legacy, um, uh, C.J. Henderson, C.J. Henderson, okay, out of Florida, um, Yeter Grossmetos, out of Rookies and Stars, Colin Johnson, uh, Travis Homer, uh, who do we get here, Kennedy, Kennedy McCoy, I think, let me see. Yeah, McCoy with a K. Um, then we got some optic rookies. Uh, Kelvin Harmon, Zach Allen, Travion Williams, and Ty Johnson. Again, no big, big names. Um, looks like this box was just, so far, just unloading some lower tier rookies. Let's see here. Uh, sticking with the optic, Alize Mack, uh, Don Russ rated rookie, Eli Apple, a couple copies of that, Don Russ elite, Jalen Hurd rookie, uh, rated rookie, Jalen Hurd, Don Russ 2019, more Eli Apple, uh, Drew Sample, optic rookie, Saquon Hampton rookie, Travion, Trayvon Mullen Jr. rookie, Greedy Williams, another rookie card there. Uh, ben Benogu, uh, Christian Wilkins, L.J. Collier, uh, Don Russ Retro, Carl Joseph again, Jake Rudock again, uh, Colby Parkinson, XR. I do like the red there. Uh, another Colby Parkinson, Aspirations, out of Don Russ Elite. Playoff, Jared Pinkney, Pinkney. Uh, Anthony Gordon, prestige rookie. Uh, Eli Apple again, Devin Duvernay out of Texas, prestige. Jamichael Hasty, prestige. Brian Harrion, James Prochet. Um, Grady, Grady Delpit, Don Russ, uh, Jarek Wills. There's a Josh Rosen out of Sage Hit. Premier Draft. 2018 rookie. So low end, low end set. Um, but Josh Rosen, uh, you know, could do worse than that. Um, an absolute spectrum, Willis McGahee. That's probably the best card we've We've hit on this first row so far. Willis McGahee Spectrum. Nice red foil in that. Um, I do enjoy that card. Here's another Spectrum. Derek Harvey, rookie. Jacksonville Jaguars. We got here Horizontal. Stars of the NFL. Willis McGahee. Kind of a lame looking card. Not much of the player featured. 
Um, nothing special on the back either. NFL 23. Um, Willis McGahey was a fun player to watch. Um, all right. Rookie debut, Upper Deck, Tony Gonzalez. And that is from, let's see, what year is that? What year is that? Because I have a hard time believing that's his actual rookie year. 2006. So he has been playing much longer than that. Why would you make a rookie debut card in 2006? It's the set, I believe, rookie debut. Um, so it probably features the rookies, but then they throw in some of these vets as well. So off to a little bit of a slow start. All right, let's keep her going. Hopefully we can get some improvement here. Uh, Ronnie Harrison, rookie. Jonathan Abram, rookie for the Raiders. All hands team, Julian Edelman from Score. A little score insert. That is a, a deceiving card with that cut. Interesting. It almost looks like it's a miscut or it's been um, tampered with, but it's not. It's an optical illusion the way they made that border. Uh, Devontae Booker. Uh, Utah rookie card. So that would have been a couple years ago, right? 2016. 2016. Uh, another Josh Rosen rookie. A Jared Goff uh, green foil. Absolute. Uh, so now we're getting to some guys that we know. Again, the Upper Deck rookie debut set. Uh, ben Roethlisberger is in there. Um, all pro Michael Vick, Pro Bowl from Tops. That's a nice little classic card. Philip Rivers in the rookie debut. Allen Branch rookie card, Tops Chrome. Uh, Randy Moss from the rookie debut. Wide receiver, 9698. That's his rookie debut. Uh, Terrell Lewis, optic rookie. Vince Maley rookie. A couple of those from Score. Uh, Brian Edwards, Illusions rookie. A couple of copies of that. Kyle Duggar, rookie from Absolute. Uh, Brian Edwards from Playbook, rookie. Raekwon Davis, rookie from Playbook. Um, Kyle Duggar, Green Foil, rookie. Well, Michael Perry again. Isaiah Simmons, a couple of rookies from him. This one's Playbook. Michael Perrine, uh, Legacy Rookie. Uh, Michael Perrine, this is an absolute red foil rookie. Uh, Rekwon Davis, Rookies and Stars. Rekwon Davis, uh, Playbook again. Quez Watkins, Rookie from Absolute. We've got the, the base and a red foil. Keyshawn Vaughn, rookie from Chronicles. A couple copies of that. Gabriel Davis, rookie from Mosaic. Um, Jason Huntley from uh, Phoenix. Um, Jeff Okuda, rookie card from Phoenix. Uh, Brian Edwards, Mosaic rookie. Quez Watkins, uh, Phoenix. Uh, let's see here. Yep, Panini Phoenix 2020. All right. Quez Watkins, Rookies and Stars. Jalen Johnson, Jalen Johnson. Christian Fulton from Prism. Derek Brown, Raquan Davis, Kyle Duggar, AJ Terrell, Absolute. All rookies in this row so far. Well, not all. It, was, it looks like it's been about 90%. Noah... Igben Ogany, rookie. Xavier McKinney, rookie. Jake Luton, Quez Watkins. John Hightower, the fourth rookie. Xavier McKinney. Um, Kenny Britt, rookie. Score 2009. Joe Reed, rookies and stars. Isaiah Coulter. Uh, Grant Delpit again, Don Ross, rookie. Clavon Chasson. Paul McDonald, Albert Okwabunum, 
Um, Quez Watkins, Clavon, Juwan Jennings, Jeff Gladney, James Proche, Quint Quintez Cephas, Derek Brown, Anthony Barr, rookie card from Score. Um, Anthony Barr, Anthony Barr. What, did he have a little run-in with Aaron Rodgers a couple years ago? Is that why I remember him so much from the Vikings? 2014 rookie. So 10 years old already. Uh, Patrick Queen, Josh Uche, Jeremy Chin, Deshaun Kaiser, rookie, rated rookie. All right. Well, I see some basketball here. Hopefully we can get out of those football rookies. A little Shaq rookies. Nice. Centers of attention. Uh, tops total Shaq. Uh, NBA Hoop Shack with the Lakers. Um, Fleer 96-97 Shack. Nice little run of Shack here. I'll take that. Much better. Skybox Premium Shack. 96-97 uh, Fleer Ultra Shack. Um, so another Skybox Premium. Couple copies of this. Shack, Shack. NBA Hoop Shack. Um, what is it? Another NBA Hoop Shack. Uh, Collector's Choice from Upper Deck. Shaquille O'Neal. Um, what's this one? Skybox. Skybox Shack. Two, three copies of that. Another Collector's Choice. Some duplicates here. That's okay. It gives us some quantity listings. Uh, here's an Upper Deck Shack. With the Lakers in the purple. And then in the gold... Um, upper Deck, Shaquille, very nice. That's the Ovation. Um, the Ovation is a, a nicer set. It's got that nice bronze foil on there. I like it. Uh, Skybox Premium Shack, another Skybox Premium Shack. Oh, Luxury Box from his days with the Heat. I, I do like that, that we got a little... Variation here, not all Lakers. Um, just looking at this design, um, seeing if there's anything else I need to call out on it. Um, looks like just base luxury box. I do like it. Uh, another Fleer. Oh, okay. Fleer Metal. Uh, nuts and Bolts. <laughs> I like the Nuts and Bolts one. If, if you look close on these metals, those are actually bolts and nuts. Um, so, pretty literal on that. An Electrified Skybox Shack with the Orlando Magic yet there. Um, Fleer 9394 with the Magic. Uh, Skybox Z-Force with the Lakers. Uh, Zupperman Z-Force with the Lakers again. Uh, a couple more. Magic Shack. Top Stadium Club Shack. Faces of the game. I do like that. The unique looks. The unique images. Um, Shack. Skybox. Skybox. Um, Skybox. All, is this like all NBA? Yep. Um, Upper Deck Shack. East All-Star NBA Hoops. Um, Inspirations Upper Deck Shack from... It's Lakers, um, but you get the nice uh, bronze foil tag there for the Inspirations. 2001-2002. Yeah, nice run of Shack there. It looks like we got some more in here yet, too. How far will Shack go? Um, elevation, um, and this is a tops, tops elevation. Um, Shaquille O'Neal looks like about five or six copies of that. Um, back to the magic days, tops stadium club, a couple copies of that, an upper deck, all star class, very nice. Some stadium club, a couple copies. Uh, back to Skybox, Shaquille O'Neal, Upper Deck. I like the Magic Days. Those are those are some of my favorites. Uh, another NBA Hoops, uh, Fleer ninety four ninety five with the Magic, uh, Z Force. Um, this is probably an older one, right? 
97. 97 Z Force. All right, keep the Shack coming. Shack is a good seller. Good seller. I think this is another full handful of Shack. Um, Fleer 97, 98, 97 All-Star game, uh, 93, 94 Fleer tops, a couple copies of that, uh, some Stadium Club Shack, um, High Count, is that what that is? It's tough to make out that logo down there. It's definitely High, high Court, probably High Court. Um, maybe you can see it better than I can, but nice look at Shaq dunking on somebody. Who is he dunking on there? I can't quite see the back of the name because of the badge on the uh, card. Back to some Skybox. Again, quantity. Um, let's see here. Fleer 9394 again. Some more NBA hoops. Stadium Club. That high court again. Uh, okay, Fleer 9697, Hardwood Leader. Not a bad looking card. Uh, upper Deck. Shaq continues the tradition of great players in the past for the Lakers. Fleer Premium. Nice. Uh, upper Deck. We got here. With the Heat. This is an SPX. I do like that. You got the dual image there. Um, again with the heat, this is Fleer 0405, not too bad, keep the shack coming, keep it coming, oh I still see more back there, um, upper deck hard court, upper deck slam, little tops base it looks like. Uh, Shaq, Rookies and Stars with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Shaq with the Suns upper deck. You pretty much have Shaq's whole career here. That's actually a nice little hit in the box to get so much Shaq spanning his entire career. Um, this is Skybox Masters. Um, another Z-Force. Skybox Z-Force. Um... A little upper deck, rookie debut, some NBA hoops, Fleur Traditions, so you got kind of that old style image and design, uh, Fleur 96, 97, a couple copies, back to some, I believe this is Skybox, yep, uh, some NBA hoops, that looks like, yep, East All-Star, um, uh, upper deck, Back with the Magic. I think we had a couple copies of this. Collector's Choice. Um, Top Space. Uh, Stadium Club. I do like this one. Maybe a little too much yellow, though. The, the gold jerseys and the gold paint. Um, a little too much. Um, okay. Flare. Is that Flare Showcase or something? It is a Flare card. Um, but I don't see the Flare Showcase badge on it. Oh. Right there. Yep, I think it's Flair Showcase. All right. That's a nice looking chat card. That's what I do know. Okay. That's quite a few shack cards. I like it. Things are looking up. All right. Let's try and keep the shack coming. Oh, yeah. There's still plenty of shack. I think you can see the end up ahead, though. Uh, upper deck hard courts. Nice. 96.97 Flair Ultra. A uh, little Encore from Upper Deck. A couple copies of that. Or 96.97 Fleer Ultra. Oh, what's hiding back there? Oh, we had this one before. Another Upper Deck. Um, NBA Hoops. Greats of the Game from Fleer. Magic Johnson. Oh, we broke the streak of Shaq. So a couple copies of that. Oh, back to Shaq. Um, SP, it looks like. Yeah. Um, uh, some Collector's Choice. I think we had a couple copies of that. Fleer 93, 94. What was his rookie year? What was it? Drafted. First round, pick one in 1992. Um, here's some 93, 94 Fleer Ultra. Couple copies of that. Some tops base. 
Another flare metal um, of Shaq. Action shot. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, upper deck. Pros and prospects. Shaq. From his Lakers uni. Um, some NBA hoops. Some more SP. And what do we got here? Upper deck. Looks like upper deck base with the magic. All right. Well, I see a little more shack ahead. Uh, we got more of that upper deck base. We got the upper deck all star class, um, NBA hoops, tops. What does this say here? 2000 tops. Paint Patrol from Tops. Uh, a little SP Authentic from Upper Deck. Uh, a few copies of that. Um, some more Upper Deck. Oh, look at him doing a little baby hook over Matumbo. And this is a Gold Reserve. Let's look at that a little bit closer. Yeah, Gold Reserve. That's a nice looking card. Got the gold foil on the bottom. A little bit of a kind of a golden tint to it as well. Uh, Metal Universe Shack. Uh, let's see. What is this set? Is that Upper Deck Glass? Sure is. Upper Deck Glass. It's the regular card stock though. Not the glass versions. Um, another Elevation from Tops. Couple copies of that. Skybox. Keep the shack coming. Ah, Upper Deck Black Diamond. I do like the Black Diamonds. They just have a nice look to them. Another Paint Patrol. Oh, we see some baseball ahead. So we must be coming to the end of the shacks. Looks like oh, still quite a bit of shack in here, though. Um, Skybox. We've got Skybox Masters. Shaq with the tongue out. Um, more Skybox. Top Stadium Club. <laughs> Faces of the game again. That, that cracks me up. Um, okay. Keeping with the Shaq. NBA Hoops. That's a young one, too. What year is that? Um, that is... Oof. That is 95. Um, that's kind of a weird design, this pixel image. Uh, FLIR 9596. Uh, 9495 FLIR Ultra. Classic Shack image. Uh, 9394 FLIR Ultra. Another luxury box. Um, number crunchers from NBA Hoops. Collector's Choice. Oh, the Dream. 93.94. Hakeem Elijahwan. A couple copies of that. Is that Vladi Divac in the back, maybe? Can't quite tell for sure, but that's who I think it might be. 92.93. Highlights from Tops. Uh, 92.93. Tops All Star. Third team. Shaq was a third team All Star his rookie year. Is that correct? Um, yeah, second in rebounds per game, second in blocked shots, wasn't at the top of his game yet. Tops future scoring leader, Paint Patrol, we had a couple copies of those. Um, NBA Eastern Conference All-Star Shaq from Tops, more faces of the game, Fleer 94-95, Collector's Choice, Paint Patrol, Another top scoring future leader, um, and that is a 94 card. Uh, some more Fleer Ultra, 94-95, I believe. 1999-2000 West scoring leader, Shaq, Carl Malone, and Gary Payton, Tops Heritage. 93-94 Fleer. Uh, classic. We got a classic card here, huh? I can't read the, the large bad share. It's just not not presented well enough for me to make that out. Maybe you know what it is. 
Um, but even on the strong magnifying glass, I can't make it out. I do know this is a classic, though. Shack Shatters Backboards, 1993 Classic Games. That he did. He did break a lot of backboards. Uh, Centers of Attention from Classic. Uh, another Rookies Centers of Attention. Uh, upper Deck Collector's Choice. Shaq Orlando Magic. I think it says BP4S on the bottom. Oh, <laughs> if you flip it over, you get the full name. Blueprint for Success, BP4S. So interesting, they brought that back for Topps Baseball this year. And um, there's a an insert set that is very similar to that. 93-94 uh, Fleer, a couple different ones, an award winner as well. And then Top Stadium Club, uh, High Court again. And then it looks like we get into some baseball. Baseball, baseball, baseball. We got some Frank Thomas, Top's Gold Label. I like that. Always like some Gold Label. A couple copies of it. Um, different images, too. We got two different images of Frank Thomas here. Gold Label. Um, some Tim Anderson. What year is this? So 2020 is why we're getting some of these modern players. Yadi Molina, Masahiro Tanaka, Max Scherzer, Joey Votto, Chris Sale, Miguel Cabrera, Nolan Arenado, Albert Pujols with the Angels, Alex Bregman, uh, class, these are all class one, Zach Gallen, Giancarlo Stanton, Brendan McKay, rookie. Yachty again. AJ Puck, rookie. Reese Hoskins, now with my Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, George Springer, still class ones here. Clayton Kershaw. Brendan McKay, rookie again. Jarrett Cole, AJ Puck, rookie. Tim Anderson again. Um, I am a big fan of Topps Gold Label, so I will, I will take that. I'm not going to complain about that. Some stuff falling over in the box here. That tells me I'm getting near the end. Um, Nolan Ryan from Fleer Ultra. 93 Fleer. Fleer Ultra. Nolan Ryan with the Rangers. I'll take that. Uh, We've got a corners. They're a little rough. It's probably not going to make the grade um, to get listed. But Oh, looks like we got a little pocket of Nolan Ryan. This is better. Um, Nolan Ryan upper deck. Looks like we got a little scratch in there or print, print line in there, at least in that particular card. This one looks better. I don't see anything wrong with this one. Not initially anyway. Uh, so upper deck, what year is that? That looks like, uh, maybe a 92, 93. Uh, Nolan Ryan, 5,000 strikeouts. I should put those aside right away. Um, upper deck 93, 93. Uh, upper deck 90, Nolan Ryan. Uh, 91, Nolan Ryan. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, score, what year is that? Score, I think 1990. Oh, Bo Jackson, 91, upper deck. Studio 91. Nolan Ryan with the Rangers. Classy looking card there. A couple more of these uh, career perspectives. Show them all his different unis. The 5,000 strikeouts again. So big Nolan Ryan fan. I do like that we're seeing some Nolan Ryan here. Nolan throws seventh no hitter. Uh, weird little football stuck in there. Tim Tebow from 2011. Panini Gridiron Gear. Ken Griffey Jr., Big Head All-Star. <laughs> the little caricature. I, I like that as well. Um, Pacific Exchange. Pacific Sock Exchange. What? 93 Upper Deck. So we got Griffey and a couple of the other boys here. Kevin Mitchell, Ken Griffey Jr., and Jay Buhner. 
uh, teammates. That's kind of cool. All right, can we get through the end of this? Probably two more handfuls. Uh, 93 tops all stars, Lenny Dykstra, Ken Griffey Jr. So, nice little pocket of Griff. I like that. Up close and personal with Ken Griffey, Collector's Edge. Uh, Fleer Ultra Checklist from 97, featuring Ken Griffey in the warm ups. Looks to be in really good condition. Um, upper Deck 1990. Collector's Choice, a score checklist with Griffey, uh, Select 95 checklist with Griffey, Flash in the Peace Sign, uh, Classic Best, San Bernardino Spirit. So a minor league card with Ken Griffey Jr. Um, this is 1992. Uh, first player selected in the 87 draft. So it's kind of a throwback card to his minor league days. But I don't see a lot of Griffey cards in his minor league unis. Uh, score Dream Team, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, what is this? Obviously it's Griffey. Seattle Mariners, 1989. Baseball's best four, Pacific Cards and Comics. Number three. That is pretty cool. Um, that, uh, I don't, I haven't seen a lot of that card. Uh, most exciting player, Major League Diamond Skills, Upper Deck 92. Collector's Choice 90 again. Uh, Pinnacle 1990, American League Checklist with gold foil. Select 96 Checklist. A lot of checklists featuring Griffey. Um, the Big Head All-Star again. The Kid, Ken Griffey Jr. So, is this one licensed? Doesn't look like this is licensed. Um, so this was probably like a local set or something. Or some kind of sponsorship set. So, I won't be able to list those. But, kind of cool to see. Um, Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Griffey, another checklist. Score 91, Rifleman. That's that's a fairly cool card as well. More Dream Team Griffey, a couple copies. Don Russ 92 Griffey. Uh, the Franchise, score 91. Oh, what do we got here? Ken Griffey Jr., 300 series from Pinnacle, 96. Three, oh, oh that must be a batting average, 3018. Um, that's, that's a nice looking card. I like that. And that gold foil is sharp on that. Uh, 91, Ken Griffey. Fun stuff with the kid. The Baseball Inquirer, 1992 Confex. Interesting. Uh, Don Russ, 91, Griffey. 91, Griffey and, is that Sandberg? Uh, yep, that's Rhino. Um, Dream Team Griffey again. Seventh inning stretch. We got Bugs Bunny and Ken Griffey Jr. I love the Looney Tunes cards. It's just fun. Uh, another Rifleman. Uh, the Franchise, score 91. Tops All-Star Rookie. Now we're talking, right? Like, this is, uh, you know, a heavily printed card, 1990. Um, but... Hey, rookie cup Griffey. I'll take that out of a out of a box. A little bit of a soft corner here, unfortunately. Uh, but other than that, it looks nice. Um, Diamond Kings, another rifleman. Um, Toronto ninety one All Star game. Uh, upper upper deck. Um, okay, special edition collector's choice All Star. With the blue foil. That's a nice looking card. Um, another Griffey here for Hostess Baseballs. Do they still make those? And uh, they would. They had a version called Snowballs too. But the baseballs, they would just put the, the seams on it. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I do like the promotional cards. Um, I, I find them to be a little, you know, a little different. Some people like that. Uh, Bo Jackson, 
A little Leaf Bo Jackson with the California Angels. Jim Rice, outfielder. Let's see, what year we got here? Printed in the USA. 1981 Fleer. Um, not a perfect card. It looks a little weathered in the white borders, but Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Uh, more upper deck, Bo Jackson. Love me some Bo Jackson. That edge looks pretty rough, too. That's not going to make the cut. Um, but we got a few copies. Uh, 92 Don Ross, 88 Don Ross bow, um, 90 upper deck bow, a couple copies. 91 Don Ross bow, uh, 91 upper deck bow with the white socks. Um, classic baseball, 1990 Bo Jackson. So heavily printed cards, but if you're going to get someone from those sets, Bo is a good name to get. Um, 91 bow again, uh, Fleer 92 bow, uh, Pinnacle, what year is that? Um, that is a 94, uh, Fleer Ultra, uh, 93, I think, yeah, 93 Fleer Ultra bow, a couple copies of that, um, Team White Sox, Bo Jackson, what is this one? Oh, Stadium Club, 93 Stadium Club. And then a random football. Oh, a bow football, too. The Bow and Berry Show, 1990 replay from NFL Pro Set. That's kind of cool. Uh, Fleer Ultra, 94. Bo Jackson, California Angels. 93 Upper Deck with the White Sox. Uh, 91 Score Bow. Uh, another upper deck. Yeah, some of these have some rough edges on them. And they're not going to make it into my listings. Um, another 91 upper deck. Collector's Choice. 91 upper deck. Um, we had this one. Oh, Hollow View Effects. So an early hollow card. Got the dual image, you got the action image here, then you get a little profile, and there's two different images in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, um, but when you angle it, it changes. So that is, oof, can't see that at all. <laughs> that is 94 upper deck. 94 upper deck. That's a that's a pretty cool card though. Uh, first annual collector's edition of the Ralston Perina promo set, Ricky Henderson. Uh, 83 Spotlight from Topps, Ricky Henderson. Uh, Ricky's a good seller. I like to see Ricky in here. The Idols from Pinnacle. Ooh, look at that. Is that Lou Brock with Ricky Henderson? Upper Deck, 91. 939 stolen bases. Um, yep, that's Lou Brock with him. Very cool. I like that. Um, looks like Fleer Ultra, 1991, Ricky Henderson. That, that's a, not a very exciting card. I like the design on that. It's not very good. Uh, but it does look to be an insert. Uh, Ultra Team, 1991 Fleer Ultra Team. So that is a little bit of a saving grace on it. All right, last handful for row one. Barry Sanders from 94 Select. Always take some Barry. Um, Power from Pro Set. Um, a little Joe Montana. Pro Set base card. Zach Greinke, um, Diamond Anniversary. So we got the mini diamonds here. That was a parallel. Uh, Fergie Jenkins, Diamond King with the frame. A Robert Woods, Don Russ, um, like a purple. I don't think it's numbered, though. No. This one is numbered, though. We got a Des Bryant numbered out of 299. That's a little bit of a surprise, the way this first row went. Uh, Forrest Whitley, uh, Elite Extra Edition from Panini. That is numbered out of 200. Uh, Timeless Tributes, T.Y. Hilton. Numbered out of 99. Okay. All right. Things are ending strong in this first row. 
Um, Jay Cutler, numbered out of 49. Uh, a Crown Royal. Yep, that's a Panini Crown Royal. Uh, 2017. A D'Angelo Henderson rookie card out of 99 from 2017 Certified Cuts. Um, we've got James Ramsey. Okay, we got some die cuts coming up here. Over to baseball. So... You got the die cut on the bottom of the card, numbered out of 200. We got James Ramsey, Ty Helmsley, uh, Nick Basto, uh, Anthony Banda, uh, Joe DiCarlo, and Peter O'Brien. Um, oh, so the red ones are numbered out of 200. Now there's a blue numbered out of 100, Alex Yarborough. So, no big names there, but some nice numbered cards. Uh, Solomon Thomas from Donruss Elite, numbered out of 99, out of Stanford. A little die cut action there. Uh, Lance Briggs, Unparalleled. That's a cool looking card. You got kind of like that hypnotic, uh, spherical image in there. Um... A Jarek McKinnon certified, 2014 certified rookie card out of 999. A Jacob Hester pink out of 50. Look at that. Pink out of 50. That's a sage hit, make ready. Um, so it would be better if it was one of the mainstream sets rather than sage. But hey, you take what you can get in one of, one of these boxes like this. Uh, Curtis, I'm sorry, Cameron Artis Payne, 2013 certified rookie, uh, 999. A Stephen Piscotti out of 99. A Diamond Kings Red, it looks like, out of 99. Uh, Paul Richardson out of 2009 certified. Rookie card out of 99. Um, Senquez. Colson, 2015 certified rookie out of 9.99. Uh, Steven Jackson, 2012 certified. It looks like a red parallel out of 2.49. Rache Hageman, certified rookie card out of 2.49. I'll take it. Jabbar Gaffney, home whites. Numbered out of 3,500 from Fleer Maximum. <laughs> I'm stretching that out because it starts to say Maximum, but then it becomes like Maximum. <laughs> that logo doesn't make a lot of sense. Fleer 2002. That's that's what I'm going to go with. Um, it, it's got to be a Maximum, but the way they stylize the M into the arrow, it looks like Maxima IT, okay? So um, that that's what I see at first look, but I can see now it should be Maximum. Both the M's are stylized into the arrows at the end. Um, and our last one out of row one, a Fleur Mystique, Na Brown out of 2,999. So, um, started off uh, with a lot of rookies um, that aren't going to have much value. Kind of dumped those into this box. Um, hit a bunch of Shaq. Um, hit some Bo Jackson, some Ken Griffey Jr. And finished with some number cards. So, I would give row one um, probably a C plus, B minus, somewhere in there. All right, folks. Stu and I are back. We've got another monster box started. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a second monster box, um, but it looked like people enjoyed going through them with me. And heck, I enjoy going through them as well. And so does Stu. We have a good time going through there. You never know what we're going to find. In that first box, we found some nice finds. In fact, uh, found one card that paid for both monster boxes already. Um, as well as some other good finds in that first box. So we were hoping we could find some more of the same in the second box. So even though I left town, I was going up north, uh, 
hoping I could kick back a little bit. But you know what? I am always having more things on a to-do list. So I uh, worked my tail off for the weekend, but, but did find time to get some card work in as well Friday night. Um, and that's what we went through today. Uh, I went through everything on Friday night um, after we got up north and set up shop then dove into some remodeling DIY work on Saturday and Sunday. Um, but here we are ready to share with you what we discovered in the first row of our second monster box from the Oak Creek card show. Um, as I said at the end of the review there, um, not, not super hot in that first row. Um, definitely not as good as we started off in monster box one. Um, but did see some nice pockets of Shaq in there, some Ricky Henderson, some Bo Jackson. So at least we had some quantity of some of the premium names out there in the hobby. So I can't complain about that. And it's just row one. We've got four more to go. So what did, uh, let's look at the numbers. What did we find in row one? Well, we had 481 total cards in that row. A little bit light, wasn't packed real full. Um, 197 football cards, 182 baseball cards, including those leather to lumber die cuts that I just fell in love with. Um, and 102 basketball cards. So um, good variety there. A little more split than we saw in the first box. The first box was really heavy football. Um, but this one was a little more of a mix between football and baseball with a little bit of basketball mixed in there for fun. Um, and of that basketball, it seemed like about 70, 80% of it was all Shaq. And I'll take that. Shaq's a good seller. Um, I will take that all day. Uh, quantity wise, a um, little less than desirable on some cards. Probably have about a handful of cards that we're going to have to toss um, that didn't make the cut, just found different different flaws on them. Some of the, some of the edges were not up to par, um, but the vast majority were good quality yet. So pretty pleased with that. So that takes our, our full buy for the Oak Creek card show. It just keeps moving on. We're up over 4,300 cards in that whole buy for that day. Um, which has got us about five cents a card for the full day, but we've got, you know, probably three thousand more cards to go through in this box. Um, again, on pace to be at about a penny and a half uh, for our buys on that day. So, a uh, pretty decent day. We'll see what we find in the rest of the rows on here to see um, if we have any hits in there. I would imagine. We'll come across one or two um, that'll do pretty well for us. Um, but in this this first row, you know, for me, uh, my favorites were those leather to lumber die cuts that were the bats and the gloves. Um, just really cool stuff. Um, I would buy stuff like that all day, every day for a penny and a half a card. I mean, that, that to me is a no-brainer. We love the die cuts here. We love the acetate clear cards here. Uh, we love to put as much of that as we can in our stores. So um, really happy to see that. Um, also some really nice Ricky Henderson cards too. I'm a big fan of Ricky Henderson growing up. Um, he still sells to this day, the man of steel, right? Like the, the all-time steals leader. There was a really cool card in there. Um, I think a late 80s card, mid 80s card that was... Lou Brock and Ricky Henderson, kind of the, the handing off, the passing of the guard. Um, I know that was a heavily printed card. It's it's not going to be that valuable. But part of the fun of doing this is just reliving the memories, going through these old cards. And that certainly was one that triggered, triggered some of the feels for me, if you will. All right, so that's row one. We will keep her moving along with the rest of this box as quick as we can. A uh, couple of reminders, every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Central Time, remember to join Stu, myself, and Adam over at the Dollar Box Live, a two, three-hour interactive chat live stream 
where we talk about some news, knowledge, and nonsense in the low-end card selling business. Um, it's really a good time. It's a chance for you to speak live to us about any issues you're having in this business. Um, ask for any advice on something you're struggling with. Um, you know, we started that show to really help others get started like we did. Adam helped me a lot. I try to help some others. We thought, um, let's, let's get a show out there and really spend some time. One, show what it's really like being a low-end card seller. Two, show that you can make a living out of this. And three, help people get kick-started uh, if they're running into some early barriers or questioning how to, how to get started in that. So come on out again, 8 p.m. Central every Wednesday night. A good time is had by all. Also, keep in mind, this September 8th, here's the flyer right there. The Goat Card Show, the Dollar Box, JC3, Cards and Collectibles, coming together to super sponsor a new card show in the Green Bay area all over Northeast Wisconsin. People will be coming to the Goat Card Show. Over 80 tables at the historic Riverside Ballroom. Tables are filling up fast we've got uh, oh we're about two weeks into opening up the registration for that and i think we are at about a third of our tables sold um so it's moving pretty fast um before you know it they're gonna be filled up we are expecting a sellout for this um so go ahead use that uh the contact links on the flyer reach out get a table reserve fifty dollars a table $40 for a second table, so it's a great deal. Uh, come on out, have some fun with us. Should be an exciting time. So that's it for us today. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe, get those notifications so you know when row two comes out of Monster Box 2 from the Oak Creek Card Show. Until next time, peace out. Take care of each other.